All right, so I'm going to cover the quadro. The quadro is found inside of the modeling toolkit. Now, the best way to use the quadro, it's on a orthographic view. You do not want to use a quadro on a perspective view because when we start creating points, we're not going to be able to figure out the depth. If we work on a orthographic view, let's say top, front, or side, we're going to be working on a 2D plane. So I'm going to go to this shape right here and I'm gonna hide my grid. Now, the way that the quadro works is super, super simple. I'm gonna move this to the side right here, and I'm gonna click on quadro, right? And the way it works is you click four points, one, two, three, four points, and then when you move your cursor inside of these four points and you hold the shift key, you get a preview. Now, you don't have to commit to this preview unless you click. As soon as you do that, you have a polygon. Another thing that we can do with the uh, quadro, if I create multiple polygons, for example, like this, and then I use my shift key as I hover inside of these square right here, is that if I wanna delete one of my faces, all I have to do is hold shift and control, and notice that my icon turns into a black arrow with an X, and this is how we can get rid of our faces. However, we cannot get rid of the last one. So to get rid of the last one, hit Q, go into object mode, and it's just like any polygon, just go ahead and delete it. Now, what else can we do with this polygon? If I hold control while my mouse is hovering inside of this polygon in the quad draw mode, notice that I'm able to insert an edge loop. Okay, so if I click on it, Boom, I get an edge loop. If I hold control again and move my mouse, I'm not clicking my mouse. I'm just moving my mouse up and down. And then as soon as I get it where I want, I can click on it and I get another split. I'm gonna do a couple of times. The other tool that we're gonna use all the time is gonna be the tap tool. That's both on a Mac and a PC. If I hold tap on one of my edges, notice that I get the word extend, X-T-E-N-D. When I do extend, look what happens. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag. Okay, so this looks pretty fun, but what if, for example, I had something like this? Well, would I have to extend this guy and then have to join those two edges? No, not really. I'm gonna extend while holding the tab key, and then as soon as I drag this polygon right here to my left, notice that that edge will snap, boom. And this is how you extend and snap edges. Okay, one more thing about edges. If I wanna extrude multiple edges, for example, let me move the shift key inside of this area, click to create an edge. If I hold the tab key, I'm gonna extend my edges. Now to extend a row of edges, right? Let's say this edge, this edge, and this edge at the same time, you hold the tab key, and then the middle mouse button. Now to extend a border, let's say the outer border of this group right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the tab key, right mouse button, select the extend border. Now all we have to do is hold tab and with our left mouse button, just drag the border. Another thing that we can do is that we can create polygons based on corner vertices. So let me delete these two polygons by going to shift control and deleting these two guys. And I'm gonna reset my quad draw tools by going to tap right mouse button. And I'm gonna go right here to the bottom to reset settings. And now if I go to tab and I go to this vertex right here, I can just drag it and create polygon faces. We can also have multiple shapes. So for example, if I do a quadro right here and I hold shift between these two edges, this is a quad. One, two, three, four. I can click on one of these quadro vertices without having to use the move tool in Maya. And look at this. I'm moving my little quadro vertices at the same time that I'm creating quads. And if I was to hit three, I can see the smooth version of this object.